Hey lovelies, in this video I'm going to be talking about the two different types of leave-ins. First, you'll have your liquid leave-ins like Elessa QP's Olive and Mango uh, Butter H2 Leave-In Conditioner. Natty Coco's Herbal Leave-In Mist. Alakay Naturals lemongrass leave-in and well those are the only three that I have but I know there's a there's lots more and then creamy leave-ins like Shea Moistures Extra Moist Transitioning Milk uh, <laughs> Shea Moistures Curling Style Milk, Shea Moisture's Curling Style Conditioner, I said Curling Style, it's not Curling Style, it's Curling Shine, excuse me guys, Shea Moisture's Restorative Conditioner, and by now you guys can tell that I do, I like Shea Moisture's um, Conditioners and Leave-Ins, um, okay, so for me, when I use any one of these liquid leave-in conditioners, I cannot use them right off the back like when I just wash my hair and to use them as a leave-in and then go into sealing and styling. No. Um, when I apply these to my hair, I can't detangle or anything with these. Like they, they do soften my hair or anything. There's nothing wrong with these products. It's just my hair. Um, when I put these on, it just feels like, you know, like I'm trying to detangle my hair with water. And I don't like that. So I have to back it up with, um, or I won't use it all and just use a creamy leave-in like this or an, any one of the other ones that I showed you. Um, oh, and I have another leave-in conditioner here too. The um, Quimet Biologics Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee. This is a detangling conditioner and a leave-in. Um, I prefer to use it as a leave-in more than a detangler because I just think it's a great product, so why waste it on detangling? That's why I have like something like Kinky Curly for because Kinky Curly does not work as a good leave-in for me. Um, I rather detangle with it. It's a great detangler, but as a leave-in for me, it does not work. So yeah. So when I do, when I use these, or it'll be like to retwist my hair or rebraid my hair or to like prep for a style for the next day. So like, you know, when I do the, the lock method or the LCO method, which um the lock method is LOC, which stands for leave-in, whether it be a liquid one, a cream, or just plain water or aloe vera juice, then an oil, and then a whipped butter or some type of cream styler and the whipped butter could be your shea butter mix or the um any other like uh whipped butters like i know afro veda has the hemp hemp seed and something <laughs> um butters and the cocoa latte butter and all that um and uh a styler could be um shea moisture's curl enhancing smoothie or any type of like buttery styler like that that would work for the lock method. And the LCO method is the same thing as lock method. It's just the order is changed. So you put your cream and then your oil to seal in everything. And I do that, um, I do that when I retwist my hair. But when I'm, when I just freshly washed my hair, I use the LOC method. And then to retwist, I use the LCO method. So I'll spray one of these on my hair or just my, um, I know this bottle says the Shea Moisture's, um, Hold and Shine Mist. I ran out of that. Um, so I just didn't want to rip the label off the bottle. But in here I have water and aloe vera juice mixed with peppermint oil and coconut oil. And I'll use either one of these four. And then I'll apply my oil, with, which would be um, my oil mix or Natty Coco's hair and scalp oil. And then I'll proceed with a styler and well, the great thing about this, this type of leave-in, well, most of these leave-ins you can use as a styler too 
well like yeah like ones like this not like not like this this cannot be used as a styler this is just a leave-in you have to back it up with um something else if you want great definition well that's for my hair type it's uh it is different for other hair types because i do see people just put like kinky curly and then or like the giovanni conditioner on their hair and then gives them a great twist out but they have like more of the um of like the three the type three hair so that works for that type i have four the four type hair so <laughs> so i have to um i have to follow the lco or loc method and this the great thing about these two leave-ins they work as stylers too so I'll I could use this as the last step or as the middle step. Um so yeah. <laughs> the routine for me is different, but these like I cannot use these to detangle my hair or anything. Other people can, but I, I just I can't. It feels like I'm doing damage to my hair. And um when I use these, they soften my hair. These do too. They soften my hair. Actually, my hair eats this stuff up. Like, once I put this on my hair, it just, like, melts into my hair. This, I have to work it in, but it's, like, it, it, this is the best. Like, if I were to ever do a wash and go, like, this would be the conditioner that I would use because it preserves and pops my curls. Like, this is just amazing. I know a lot of people don't like this because of the smell of it, but I love the smell of it. I love the smell of all the Shea Moisture products, so I don't mind it at all. And it's a great product, so... It doesn't matter what the smell is. As long as it's doing greatness for my hair, I'm going to use it. So, for me, these do not work for detangling. They just work for um, when I decide to redo a hairstyle or prep for a hairstyle. Um, but these will always work for me when it comes to detangling and styling as well. So, I don't know what... This video could be helpful to some of you who are watching it because maybe your hair type is like mine. And then for some of you who do not, uh, who may not agree with what I'm saying because, you know, this alone, well, these alone may work for you for detangling. But this is just my, um, my perspective of it. And I, this is how I feel when it's on my hair. So don't let, you know, don't let this be like, Oh my gosh, she said, you know, you can't use these to detangle, so I have to go and buy one of these or some type of other creamy leave-in. No, you don't have to do that. If you can detangle with one of these, more power to you. I just can't, so I have to use one of these. And then I just use these when my hair is already conditioned and soft from one of these the previous day. So yeah, that's the purpose of this video to like... For me to tell you guys what exactly works for my hair when it comes to leave-ins and uh, helping with detangling. All these soften my hair, but they they make me feel as if I'm going to cause some type of damage. And um, I just need one of these to back up one, uh, these. So, that, so again, these work good. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just how it works for my hair. So again, this... This may work differently for you or the same way. I'm just here giving advice. <laughs> so yeah, that's the purpose of this video to talk about the two different types of leave-ins. So I would say the water-based leave-ins and then the creamy leave-ins. And um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And you know, follow us on Instagram at Natural Hair Guru. And we will feature you and we post... Um, very good advice and um, you may even get hair inspiration on there and you know for you guys who are transitioning you may find tips and hairstyles and all that so you know look us up so yeah <laughs> bye you guys <laughs>